All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, J809. At my neighborhood. So, uh, you know, today, I mean, I was fortunate. I was able to hang out and watch Harold dig these ditches. That's pretty exciting, right? So, you know, you have a choice. You stay home or go watch best friends dig ditches so I mean it was, it was interesting because I never seen somebody connect like toilet plumbing sewage to like a house and then the water and then electrical and everything you're like oh my gosh it's pretty fascinating so I mean if I was ever able to do it great I'm totally gonna do it but uh, as you can hear things are going down in my neighborhood Well, I guess we'll see. We'll be updated. But, you know, I, I totally wanted to go see that that Mercy ship. The one, the San Diego Naval ship that comes over. It's like a, it's like a floating hospital. And it's parked in, in L.A., L.A. Harbor. And, you know, it might be just a sight to see. But I heard they're giving out tickets there, so that part wasn't a good idea. You know, I mean, if I just go by myself and figure, okay, and it's one heck of a video, whatever, but, yeah. So today, I wanted to go, and there's that park that I wanted to just walk around, just get on the grass, smell the scent of grass, and just go, right? Right now, I got to just wait for this. I mean, like yesterday, yeah, it's pretty sketchy, that one other neighborhood, but this one... I think it shouldn't be too bad, right? So, uh, well, I guess we're going to cross the street pretty soon. Pay attention, wait for the, see, if I would have just, I saw the, the red light go, but then I would have totally got hit by that car making left right there. All right, here we go. Crossing the street. Yes. Yeah, what's up? Okay. So there's still a ton of cars. So, I mean, you know, it looks the whole normalcy thing and everything, right? And I got my emails talking about how to set up Google Classroom, right? Set up Google Classroom, and then uh, uh, I could actually teach my class. So the thing is, I was talking to my college professor you know, one of my, uh, Dr. Park, she's a piano person, and then they actually shut down choir for college because they can't really do choir on, uh, you know, distance learning and stuff. But I'm going to do my best to teach it in a regular, like, music theory class or something so the kids will have something. But it's going to be interesting because you have to do your class is like a regular day of school. So I have to wake up early, you know, school starts at nine, and then the whole, uh, uh, you know, every period, be, be available. And then so, I don't know how many of the kids are gonna be able to log on, because A, some of them don't have computers, and B, some of them don't have, uh, have uh, uh, internet. So yeah, a lot of them, no matter what, they still have TikTok and stuff like that. But we're not supposed to use like the whole YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. They want us to use the um, the district ones, like Schoology. I think they, 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 bought, they bought some program that you could teach like the whole thing or whatever. So there's gonna be like music class in there. So basically like assisted on like online learning if you ever took a college class like that. So, I mean, I'm still gonna do my lives and stuff like that, but it's not gonna be the basis of like teaching. I thought that'd be cool though. But you know, I'll still do my live and have my trolls on Wednesday night. Oh my goodness. But you know what? It's a sense of normalcy for a lot of these kids. So, I feel like I'm almost in normalcy. 
right? I mean, yeah, a lot of people that I know, they're actually starting to get sick. You talk to them on like on a live feed or something, they're coughing. You're like, oh man, right? So, you know, what can you do? All right, so, yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna try on this street. And then there's a, there's a, a, what do you call it? Park. <sighs> so I started doing the intermittent fasting thing too, right? I mean, I like doing it and stuff, but you know, when Harold says, oh yeah, we gotta get there at eight in the morning. Like, oh. So when, when, when uh, I used to have my old habits, like, you know, you're going to do work or whatever. It's like, I wake up in the morning. Oh, okay, let's stop by Del Taco. Let's stop by McDonald's, right? And you eat, work, do your stuff. Afterwards, you go get something to eat. And all of a sudden, you ate two meals within, like, a couple hours. Fast food meals. And then I thought about it. If you guys ever saw any of those videos that I make with Harold, I'm not really working. I'm, like, videoing him work. And so I'm, like, there for moral support. So how much food do I need to like just fill? Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna skip. So yeah, we had Chick-fil-A for lunch, which was awesome. But um, gosh, I can't believe how many freaking people are here. But you know what? Yeah, I see, I see somebody else walking the perimeter too. But they're walking the perimeter with their dog. So, it's probably poo. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make like a box. I'm going to go diagonal. Instead of going perimeter around the park, I'm going to just make a straight diagonal over there. And then, uh, yeah. So I, I realized one thing that I have to do too, okay? I'm going to have to actually start getting in the thick of things, get on a field, and start running. Should I do it right now? I mean, I guess I could, but I didn't stretch either. So I had to start stretching. I had to start uh, being able to get like a stride and actually like physically move and go forward, right? So right now, I'm going all the way down over there, right? I told Harold, like, dude, maybe you should train me. Just start running. Here you go. See, even that kind of hurts for me if I start jogging like this, right? So I need to actually gradually get up there. And with my weight, kind of sucks. Oh, wow. To be 200 pounds again, right? So, I don't know. But it feels good. I mean, you're like, okay, the other day when I did the whole open air of the open air parking lot, that was a great feeling. He's like, oh yeah, no one's here, no one's here. <sighs> but there are two people on the bleachers. I think they're watching me. I always feel like those two people are watching me. Okay, so, yeah. And then, you know, with the other people with whole underlying symptoms and stuff like this. I need to get healthier. So, A, you know, cutting out the regular soda. If I really had to drink soda, I'm going to drink diet, even though diet still sucks. But today I had lemonade. And I'm drinking a lot of water. And I had a chicken sandwich for lunch. Right? So, you know, I'm not hungry anymore today. And I think I gotta just get my whole school thing working, schoology, you know? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna go around this backstop, walk down that way, and come back around to the baseball field, right? All right, here we go. I guess this is a kickball diamond, right? No, I don't know what kind of diamond this is. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I should have took advantage of the whole golf thing when I could have. 
But let's be real, I didn't feel like golfing either. So, you know, aside from that, this is what I do. What'd you do today? Right? Gosh, it's so funny because whenever I look at stuff now, right? I see it on house building. Like, ooh, how'd they put those windows in or that, that door? I kind of know. Or the roofing. I check out the shingles and go like, oh, oh, there might be a leak right there. Or, you know? It's so weird, the concept of everything. And everything you just get at Home Depot. That's what's pretty nuts. So. All right. Well, still moving on. Still moving on. Going around. See how it goes. And I learned stuff about these trees. Trees like this big. So. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Ow, that hurt. No way. So, I think my glasses cut my ear. Ooh, let's go over here. So, the thing about the tree is, when you have an older house, and you have a tree that's huge, you know what else is huge? The roots. So the roots, they, they creep down and try to find all the different things of water. So if you have water pipes underneath your house, they're gonna to gravitate towards it. The bigger the tree, the bigger the water pipes. And so you go, oh, this tree's too big. We need to cut it down. And then you cut it down to the stump, whatever. And guess what? Those roots are still down there. You go, oh, you know what? Let's add some new water. Let's do let's add, let's, let's dig holes. So when you dig holes, you find these things, you think they're like steel, but they're uh, roots. Got to go in there with your saw and I don't know. That's why Harold's just so fascinating because this dude, he like knows how to do everything, right? I mean, if we had a whole pissing contest about it, like, hey, can you do this? Can you do this, right? I have some things that I could probably do. I get golf better than them. But you know, he's a championship soccer coach. He knows more about computers than I do. And then, yeah, singing wise, well, dude's a natural singer. He knows how to build houses, he knows how to record. You know, fascinating, man of God. So, he's a great friend to have. Oh. This actually reminds me of Southgate Park like all the trees and stuff, and then it's like a small walking park, but then you, uh, uh, what do you call it? What it is is you uh, uh, golf through all the trees. And then so it's a short park. No, this is too short to be a frisbee golf place. It's a pretty good park. I like it. I like it. I should have ran like four times around it. I think that would be a good mile. Can you imagine running around Mile Square Park? That's what, four miles? See, look, right here. See that big root right there? So, if you ever see like older houses and you see cracks like on the driveway and stuff, and guess what? Look for a tree nearby. It's going like, hello everybody. Like right here. See on the ball court, they have like the cracks? Guess what's nearby? Yeah, that tree. So that was the thing I learned for today. And this grass is really well manicured. See? Okay, I'm gonna keep walking around this area and uh, it's going to be the same video as it is from now 30 minutes from now so I'm going to keep going like that and walk home alright there you go day 809 in the books so today was a really great walk because 
it's like, you know, the whole, this one really cleared my mind. It really did. Going in the park, being out in the grass, and going around, reminiscing on when I used to be able to run those fields, right? Thinking about what I'm gonna do stra strategically wise and, you know, lose some weight, get over there, able to do some agility drills and stuff like that, that'd be pretty awesome. So, I don't know. It was, it was a lot of things to think about, but it was great. So I think I'll have more walks in the park and it, uh, I guess that's where the term comes from. It's just walk in the park. And, uh, you know, tomorrow I'll probably do it earlier. Go do laundry, clean my place. You know, stuff that I should have done for the past whatever. But, um, we'll see. Once again, we'll see. Anyways, big guy shit day 809. If I get exercise 809 days in a row, you get exercise 809 days in a row. So if I can do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. A walk in the park.